Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm inside of the Nexus, and I'm going to be checking on the progress of the Quicksilver Bar, and you can see it right there. It's gone back to stage one of three, which means we should have new things inside of the Quicksilver Merchant's Repository. Hello there, Johnny Five. So, yes, I have that lovely ice statue fighter statue. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. And we've now got three more decals. We've got... To the stars decal, I guess. The Awakenings decal. I quite like that one. Yeah. And we've also got the Poor Prince decal. Nice. Okay, well, yeah, I do like that one. out of But yeah, those are to be unlocked. But how long are they going to take to unlock a gate? Well, I jumped on over to the Tinterwebs and I spoke to good old Kurt. So let me just show you what Kurt had to say, shall we, people? Chicka pow! I'm on the old Tinterwebs. Well, now I am. And here's my little message to Kurt. I asked if there is an end date that can be seen by good old Kurt. And he said yes. He's had a quick look. And you can see there. And he says, good morning. I just had a look and the community mission should end on Wednesday, June 12th, 2024 at 11 a.m. GMT. Okay. So I don't think we're going to see an update into No Man's Sky until around that time. But I do think that we might see a little flurry of activity from the Murray over on the Twitter space on the lead up to that time, and perhaps we might see an emoji. But what do I think might be in the actual update? Well, let's, uh, let's go back over to the old um, uh, game, shall we, just for a moment, people. Chicka pow. So we've had this console added in, and we've had it here for a little while now, and we used it on the last expedition. Now, what this console lets you do is actually take items with you on an expedition once the expedition comes in. And I'm wondering whether because of this, because we get to take a load of extra bits of us, we can actually make it easier for ourselves. I'm wondering whether the next expedition might be a little bit tougher than previous expeditions. Just got a feeling, just got a sneaky feeling that that might be the case, considering we've now got this that gives us that little mini lift, that mini li little boost. Just let us know what you think anyway, people. But anyway, that was Expedition 12 Omega. So I think we're going to get Expedition 13, lucky number 13. If we go back out to the main title screen, here we go, quit out to mode select. Yes, I'm OK. And if we go to new game, so play, if I scroll on down here, hit new game, you have got the expedition that you can fire up from here. So you've got two ways of hitting up this expedition, one from the console inside of the anomaly, and the other way is to hit it up fresh from here. So I don't know whether they will make it harder because there are people that are probably just going to pick up No Man's Sky just to jump into the expedition. I mean, other times they have actually given free play to people. To play No Man's Sky. So, yeah, it might not be harder. Let us know what you think inside of the actual video comments, if that's even a thing that's on your radar, if it might be a tougher expedition. I mean, in the past, we have had survivally type ones, you know, where you, you've got to rerun things and you lo lose everything. Very roguelike expedition. Hmm. What sort of expedition would I like to see people inside the viewerverse? Well... <sighs> Because we've got the ARG element of um, No Man's Sky going on at the moment with the whole Void Mother, I'm hoping that the next expedition that we get ties up that four-part arc and also puts in a load of lore around the Void Mother and the Void Realm and the Realm of Glass and actually gives us some sort of idea of exactly what's going on with the simulation, the breakdown of said simulation and the relationship of the Void Mother and the Atlas. We've seen it all from pretty much the Void Mother's perspective in a roundabout way so far. It'd be nice to understand the silence of the Atlas, wouldn't it, in this? Especially since he's birthed a load of travellers into frickin' verse, us guys, to do something. But even that doesn't really seem that it's got an objective of sorts. I mean, what are we? Are we some sort of defrag system? Are we some way of getting back some sort of purged data? What are we exactly, these anomalies running around inside the simulation? A last desperate ditched attempt by the Atlas is what the law sort of indicates. But is there more going on? 
I can't wait to find out. I'm hoping that a lot of the law sort of loose ends get tied up in the next update in this year. And I'm hoping that that happens either through expedition or content, people. I'm... I don't think when it comes to content we'll be getting any more variety in. And I don't think Hello Games is going to put in anything that's going to overly change the engine. Not now, it feels too late in. Hence why I don't really mention the Super Formula as much as I used to, or Infinite Variety. I mean, all that sort of stuff would be lovely to have, but I think they've hit the uh, fixed biome route and really de dive deep into that fixed biome route to do anything but unless unless they put in an alternative universe it does feel that they've ring fenced off the very final universe inside of the actual game's progression and i'm wondering whether they've ring fenced that for a reason are they going to deliver us in the void or realm of glass into that verse into that 256 realm or whatever you want to name it as some people say 255 256 whatever because euclid is zero anyway what if they've refenced that that last universe, 256 or 255, to become something more varied, something more void-like. Maybe previous iterations of the game might even be thrown into there, you know? Maybe they might put in a few super biomes. Maybe they might have a system that's only got one planet. Maybe they might put in the actual race planets in there with mega cities and stuff like that. That realm they could say, no base building here, to get rid of that complexity. They may even say you can only form teams of up to four players to reduce complexity. You know, they could put all sorts of restrictions in to put a load of freaking variety into there. And it could be that that's where you go for your end game content. The end galaxy of the universe. Let me know what you think to that idea, people in the comments. Heck yes, let's get a little bit of debate going. Yes, lovely jubbly. Anyway, this was just supposed to be a news episode on the Quicksilver items. There's free new decals! And now we've gone off into speculation territory. Will there be an update? I think there will be, and I think we're going to see it around the 12th of June. Sometimes, though, after the Quicksilver items expire, we have seen up to a two-week gap before they've dropped new Quicksilver stuff in and an expedition. I think the next week or so is going to be rather telling. Let's watch Sean Murray, let's watch those depots, and let's see if there's any subtleties or subtle hints that there is something coming that might be content and expedition. I'm thinking it's just going to be an expedition with a few sort of um, quality of life things thrown in, but I am hoping for a little more. I did a poll just the other week on exactly how the community feels, and a lot of them were sort of in that same sort of category as what I just said. An expedition with a few quality of life things. That's what we're thinking. And then a bigger update come the summer, come August, September. This is where a lot of the community is, is aiming their expectation speculation right now. Um, I don't know whether you're in that same boat. If you're not, let us know in the comments. Again, the comments for this video could go freaking epic. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Very Salute to Mondo, people. Bye, see, bye. A member of the channel. First chapter. Thank you, first chapter. First chapter, thank you. An awesome chap that places the most awesome of comments Your mind works in such a wondrous way Your comments make me nod and breathe every day Thank you first chapter, first chapter thank you Thank you for your discord postering like no sky you help so many, you're one hell of a guy I see you also like Star Citizen I am building a PC, I will have content soon I also see you have a channel on YouTube on the bake Hope you add content, be cool to see what you make Thank you, first chapter, first chapter, thank you.